guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be testing brand new drugstore makeup. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, what I think about all the new goodies, definitely keep on watching. Do not forget to hit the notification bell button down below so you get notified when I post a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with primer. Here I have two primers. I have the Makeup Revolution Star Primer. Mm. And then we have the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. This one is the Cucumber one. As you guys know, I have the Water Primer, which is actually the spray, and I love it. So I picked up both of them, and I asked you guys on Instagram which one you wanted me to review. So let's go ahead and check it out on the gram. I'm always asking you guys questions on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, definitely follow me. <gasps> oh, Wet n Wild. Everybody said Wet n Wild. Mm, tea. And I'm actually very excited that you guys um, chose this one because I want to see if this one is as good as the water primer. Kind of looks weird. It looks like caterpillar poop or something. <laughs> it comes out really thick and then it turns into a super thin consistency. Oh, it's cream to water formula. Hydrates, locks down moisture, blurs the appearance of pores. What? That's actually a lot of things. So it's a moisturizing primer that blurs out your pores. So I'm about to look up close right now to see if it actually did blur out my pores. I have pores that show mostly right here. Let me go ahead and see. <gasps> what? It actually does fill in the pores. That's cool. Okay, so so far I am loving this primer. It smells good. I look really moisturized. I look like I just applied some moisturizer, although I didn't. Okay, so now that that is set, we're gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. Now, when I posted about this and I asked you guys if you wanted a review, everybody in the DMs was saying, I love this foundation, I live for it, I can't wait till you try it out, I know you're gonna love it. So this is Maybelline's new Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen. Broad SPF 50 foundation, antioxidant, enriched pollution protects so there are a lot of things that this is claiming to do and you guys live by it so i'm gonna put it to the test i got the shade 49 nude let's see if this is my shade yeah it looks like my shade let me go with a beauty blender hold on <laughs> i am me with my unbuttoned pants <laughs> i don't know if this is full coverage is it full coverage okay we're gonna start off with a little bit and then we'll build it up okay so let's go ahead and blend this out do you guys see what i'm seeing it's definitely not full coverage whoa i look so fucking dewy that i definitely do like so i just zoomed you guys in on my face you can definitely still see all my freckles you can see pretty much everything it just kind of looks like a new layer of skin and it's not thick at all i applied a lot of makeup and it doesn't even feel like i have any on and i actually really like that it's light coverage and that is weird for me to say okay because you guys know i love full coverage but moving on to concealer everybody was asking me to try out the new milani concealer and i got two shades it's not approved until i review it so let's go ahead and test it out oh bitch she is full coverage yes this is what i needed oh i really like this concealer <gasps> Wow, that looks so good under my eyes. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like a better version of the Tarte Shape Tape, to be honest. Like this concealer is really good. I just realized I have fucking mascara on. I am me not taking off my mascara. Did you guys hear that? It sounds like someone's upstairs. Wasn't that so weird? My heart's beating so fast right now, what the fuck? Did you guys hear that? Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to do some cream contour with the e.l.f. concealer. The e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer is fucking amazing. It blends out so nicely, though. I love it. It's so buttery. It's so silky and just smooth. So for translucent powder, I'm going to be using my Milani light to medium powder. I haven't heard of any new like um, drugstore translucent powders coming out. Or if you guys want me to review one, definitely let me know. This one is just like one of the ones I trust besides the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. It's really, really good. I'm going to. Ay, it looks like a fucking caspa. 
Here's a little tip. Whenever you have um, translucent powder on your hair, just add some setting spray and it should melt the translucent powder down. So now moving on to bronzer, I actually picked up another iHeart Revolution, Revolution, <laughs> Revolution palette. As you guys know, I swear by this rose gold glow palette and they had just um, restocked on these at the Ulta near me. They're, uh, they have been sold out ever since I talked about them because it's so fucking good and I will keep on promoting it. It's only $7, best highlighter ever. Um, but I was like, I'm gonna try out their bronzer. So when I saw this palette, I was like, ooh. The bronzer, however, does look really like ashy and kind of gray tone-ish, but the highlighter looks nice. So let's go ahead and try that out. It kind of smells like chocolate, not really though. It's a really pretty bronzer. Look at that. The brush I'm using is the Makeup Shack T80. I highly recommend their brushes. They are, if not, better than the Morphe ones and they're really affordable. I do have a code so you guys can save some money. I am always using their brushes. Wow, the bronzer looks really, really nice. Okay, moving on to blush. I was so excited when Wet n Wild came out with the Pac-Man collection. It is so freaking pretty. I even have the palette. The palette is even prettier, bitch. Look at this fucking palette. Unfortunately, we're not reviewing this palette today because I do have some other palettes drugstore that I want to try out But we're going to be using this blush palette today uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna be using this one first of all the details like it has like the little numbers that is so cute And this one has a sheen to it. You know what this one reminds me of? It reminds me of Luminoso from Milani T T O Well, we have to talk. No tea, no shade, but I feel like this is the Walmart version of Milani Luminoso. Like, it's trying to do something, but it's like not there. Like, I can see the sheen more than I can see the actual blush color. So, I also went ahead and I picked up these new NYX um, blushes, and they look really, really cute. Oh, whoa, whoa! Got a blush. I mean, I guess it's a good blush, but it's not the best. This one definitely is really intense and super, super pretty. This one is in the shade Daydream. So if you pick up a blush from the new NYX collection, I recommend Daydream. So now I'm gonna set my face with the I Heart Revolution setting spray. This one is in the vanilla and coconut. I actually had to restock because I finished my other one. Like this is the best setting spray. In my opinion, I just love it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it sets my face. It doesn't like mess with the makeup. It doesn't make me look oily throughout the day. I just, I love it. So while that is setting in place, I do have these two palettes and these are from Milani. We have a cool tone one and then we have a warm tone one. So most of the colors are shimmers and you can't do a full on look with just shimmers, which kind of sucks. I wish they would have added more mattes. So I'm gonna do one eye off camera and then I'll come back to show you guys how I did the other eye. All right, so I am back and this look was a disaster before I added this glitter and the lashes, okay? And you guys are about to see why it turned out to be a disaster. So I ended up using the Milani palette and the Pac-Man palette. So the first color I'm gonna be using is this brown right here. And I used that all over my lid. And you guys have seen me do this multiple times, so I'm just going to be packing that color. I'm gonna go ahead and just buff this out. This actually looks more like an orange than a brown. So now I'm grabbing the dark brown from the Cool Tone palette. And I'm just going to be packing this over that brown, that other brown. So I don't know if you guys can see, but as soon as I kind of like start like buffing it out, the brown like disappears and the other color kind of pops out more. So right here I can see like the like orangey-ish like undertone, I guess you could say. And it's it's just weird because when I tried doing this eye, like I couldn't get the brown to be as intense. But maybe it was my fault. Maybe I had added too much of the like dark orange. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, these mattes aren't as pigmented as I would wish they would be. Maybe like if you were to just do like a full on just like one color, it would look good, but it, the colors definitely do not mix very well. So now for the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with Old Fashioned, which is kind of like a shimmer brown and that will just help make everything look 
really nice and blended this one is so pretty now i'm gonna go ah, ah, no! god damn it fuck up okay so now i'm gonna go in with after party which is this color over here from the cool tone palette Now you're probably wondering, like, Daisy, why does the other side look like more crystally from the inner corner? You guys are about to see why, okay? So I added this color on top of the lid and they made everything look so freaking pretty. I wish I would have just used the Pac-Man palette to begin with and not any other palette. I should have just removed the Pac-Man one. But I wanted to see if the Milani ones were worth it. You see that instantly just gave it like a bubble boom and then okay this this isn't a drugstore this is from dose of colors but i needed something to just make it all come together and this was it okay i wish it was drugstore i couldn't find my milani ones i have some milani ones and i just could not find them anywhere so i went ahead and i had to use this one this is the only thing i had i used this eyeliner this is new this is the milani stay put matte eyeliner and oh, I haven't found an eyeliner this matte in a really long time and I am obsessed with it all right so now I am just going to pop on some lashes and I'll be right back okay so I'm finally done with the eye look the eyelashes are not drugstore I thought I had some here but I didn't I ran out of my jasmine brown lashes which is my favorite pair of drugstore lashes so I just use these these are the new IG lashes from Batty B lashes and they are freaking bomb now moving on to the highlighter hmm. oh actually you know what this is from makeup revolution it is the bake and blot but i was like hmm i think this would look really pretty under the eyes i wanted to see if it would like make them brighter they had a lot of different shades and you're supposed to use this when you start getting oily so i just i want to see what it looked like did it do anything i don't think it did did it i have no fucking idea <laughs> i'm gonna try out this highlighter, it doesn't look as intense as the other one that I have. So that is a little bit alarming. But yet again, yeah, you guys see, this one just has that like sheen to it. This one kind of looks really dull. But I mean, the bronzer looked really dull and then I tried it out and it was freaking bomb. So. Oh. Oh! It looks like glass on my skin. Wow, I really underestimated this palette. This palette is pretty bomb. And I love that it has a bronzer and a highlighter. That way I don't have to carry two different products. It's just in one already. So I went ahead and I put any regular um, liquid lipstick because I just want to test out these Milani glosses. So I'm going with number two, which is Nude Shimmer. Let's go ahead and... <gasps> oh my God. Wow. I love this gloss. This gloss is so freaking pretty i love the applicator the applicator is huge there's a lot of product in here i feel like we're just having like a little bronzed goddess like really just dewy moment over here and i'm kind of living for it i don't know why i still don't really like the eye look like it's not that bad like it could have been worse but i'm just not the biggest fan of it but overall i really like everything i love how everything turned out even the foundation i had my doubts on the foundation because i was like okay it's not full coverage i don't think it's gonna look good but it actually looks really 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 fucking good so you guys were correct i did end up loving this foundation uh i love the concealer the milani concealer is definitely a plus like if you guys are looking for a new foundation new concealer that is super affordable i highly recommend these i honestly recommend all the products like even this palette y'all this palette is freaking bomb okay but i love the highlighter in this one now and the bronzer so i think this one just replaced this one and they're both seven dollars so it's amazing and since i haven't promoted this one or talked about it i'm pretty sure it's stocked up everywhere so instead of getting this one or you can get both of them like it's only 14 dollars for two highlighters three highlighters and a bronzer which is fucking amazing so this one is the bronze and glow i recommend the bronze and glow get it before they sell out because then you guys start blaming me when it sells out and i'm like fuck like i have no control over that um 
I don't know how to really feel about the primer like so yeah I'll definitely be testing this out a couple more times but overall I love the products this gloss is freaking bomb this one is in the shade nude shimmer if you are a gloss whore like me, I recommend this one. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I couldn't let you guys go without doing a giveaway. I went ahead and I picked this up and I instantly thought of you guys. I was like, oh, like, I know they would like this palette. So all you have to do is go follow my Instagram and comment on my pictures when done. You can comment as many times as you want. The more times you comment, the more I see your profile and you're most likely to be picked. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be checking to see if you follow my Instagram. If you do not follow my Instagram, I'm going to be choosing somebody else. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Have a beautiful, lovely day. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye. <gasps> oh no, I did not just drop my trousers and powder everywhere. Bye. <laughs>